Hello. In this lesson, we'll begin by covering one of the first sketching command and that would be line command. But before I can do that, I must get into a sketching environment. Now in a part design workbench, I'm gonna select one of the fundamental plane and click on sketch button to get into a new sketch. As soon as I get into a new sketch, I can see number of toolbars which include all the commands required to create any complex sketch in Gardevy 5. So I'll begin with the profile toolbar by selecting the first command that is profile command. After selecting profile command, I'll come to the screen and I will left mouse click to get the first point of line segment. As I move my cursor away from the first point, I can see the end point coordinates are dynamically changing. Now I will left mouse click again and notice that line segment was created. Now if I move my cursor away and left mouse click again, I can see that additional line segment has been created chained to the previous one. So in this way number of line segments can be created. While into the profile command I can see the sketch tools already expanded which allows me to enter end point coordinates along with the length of a segment and angle from the positive x axis. This can be very useful to create a line segment with a known length and end point coordinates. Now after creating a line segment, if you want to come out of a line command, there are multiple ways to do that. You can either tap the escape key or you can double click on endpoints. While double clicking, you have to be careful because if you do not double click fast enough, you will get additional line segment. I'll select the profile command one more time and left mouse click on a screen to get the first point of line segment. Now I'll drag the cursor by pressing and holding the left mouse click. And when I release the left click, I can see the arc segment has been created instead of a line segment. You can notice that arc segment is a tangent to the previous line segment. So if you keep on dragging with left mouse button pressed, you can create multiple arc segments tangent to each other. Again, double click to get out of the line command. So profile command can not only be used for a straight line segment, it can also be used for our arc segments. Well, if you choose not to have lines chained to one another and wanna create a single line segment, you may need to explore this multi-command tool from here. Select the first command that is a line command. Go to screen and left mouse click to get the first point. Move your cursor away and left mouse click again to get the end point of single line segment. You can also create an infinite line by selecting infinite line command which allows you to create infinite line passing through points. Third option is bitangent line which creates a bitangent line between two curves. For example, if I select this curve and this particular curve here, you can see line has been created which is tangent to both the curves. Next option is of bisecting lines which allows you to create a line which is bisecting to two lines intersecting each other. So if I select this line and this line, you can see a bisecting line has been drawn between these two lines. Last option would be to draw a normal to the curve. So if you select the curve at particular point, you can see a line has been drawn which is normal to the curve at that point. So in this way, different line segments can be created in Cardia B5. To delete these lines, you can either select individual lines or you can select multiple lines by pressing control key. As you select all the lines, press delete button from your keyboard to delete all the lines. You can also drag your mouse by pressing left button and select multiple options and hit delete button. So this is all about line commands in Gardevoir 5. From next lecture onwards, we will explore more tools like rectangle and circle. Till then, thank you very much. Stay tuned.